Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here. And as the Constitution Party grows in power and fame, people want to know how to get started. Well, somebody recently said that the battle for American liberty will be won in the living rooms of the American people. So here's what you do. Join up at constitutionparty.com, print up some of the materials, and then invite your friends, neighbors, church members, and co-workers to your house for good fellowship, hot coffee, and to show them how the Constitution Party has the solutions for just about every problem this country is facing. Moms will be eager to see how the CP looks out for her children. Dads will be wanting to see how the CP ensures that he will always be able to feed and care for his family. Millions of Americans have completely lost faith in their government, and I don't blame them. Millions of disillusioned Republicans and Democrats are looking for something better. The Constitution Party is the better. The Home Constitution Party group can and will restore hope for honest American government, morality, and integrity at all levels of society, especially in the schools. And it gives God and country voters a new place to belong, a place where they really can clean up American politics. Ideally, your CP group should meet weekly. Hey, combine it with a Bible study. Very appropriate since the Constitution Party is the only political party that is still loyal to the Christian Judeo heritage of this nation. Get yourself some hats and jackets so that people know who you are and that you are a team. Never underestimate the power of team spirit and identity. The military and sports teams have tapped into that power for years. Find out where your people are strong. A simple spiritual gifts inventory is a good way to start and then plug your people into a task that they are wired for. Weekly discussions will include strategies for finding excellent men and women to run for local offices and how you can have a team ready for them as soon as they put their name in as a candidate. Having a team ready to join them from day one is one of the best ways to boost your candidate's confidence. Your initial goals as a new Constitution Party chapter is to solidify your core group. Watch it grow. Every week, each new member should bring someone new. Work to get some good people elected to your local city council, school board, state legislator, and very important, sheriff's department. <coughs> your goal is to make the Constitution Party name a household word. The better known we are, the more we will win at the national level. And Lord knows America desperately needs Constitution Party men and women in Washington, D.C. And as you go, have fun. Conservatives tend to focus on the bad things that are happening to this country. I have met a lot of discouraged patriots over the years. All of them had the bad habit of gorging themselves on every bit of political corruption they could find on the internet. Don't do that to yourselves. One of our most powerful tools is a good sense of humor. Make people smile and they will keep coming back for more. Uh, sure, we will have to deal with some frustrating and sometimes infuriating political foolishness, but don't make anger your primary motivator. Actually, your prime motivator should be the command of Christ to let your light shine before men. And always include scripture in your meetings. And here's one for today. Psalm 1 verse 1 says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked. Well, by extension, blessed is the nation that walks not in the counsel of the wicked. There's a lot of wickedness today in American politics. The Constitution Party is the solution, and your home Constitution Party fellowship group is a vitally important part of getting the message of hope out to the American people. Don't wait. Get it started and have a little fun along the way. This is Wild Bill for America. Thanks for watching and America bless God again.